Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Once again, I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. We have been spending so much time with family, which is wonderful. And to me, family always comes first. And we celebrated my mom's birthday yesterday and my son Max's birthday with the whole family. And I'm just gonna put in one picture right here of Max and my mom, the two birthday people. And we really didn't take too many pictures. We just had a really, really good time. Max ended up riding his motorcycle to my parents' house so that he could store it in their garage for the winter. And we, Matt, Addie, and I went early so we could go to church where my dad pastors. And that was a lot of fun. It's nice to see everyone we had missed. And then Max's girlfriend followed him in his motorcycle in her car. And so she was there, which always makes things so much more fun. And then my sister and her husband and boys were there and my brother and his wife and boys were there. And we just had such a great time. We really just all congregate in the same room most of the time. And my parents have an older house, so it's not an open floor plan. It's a lot of little rooms, but we all just kind of tend to flock together and end up in the same room, just all squeezed in together, talking and joking and laughing. So it was wonderful. We had such a good time and we got home and my allergies were so bad. I didn't know if I was sick, but I just couldn't stop sneezing and I was just miserable. So I ended up taking a nap and then Max hung out with us for a while and then he went downstairs to his room to do his homework and Addie came out and hung out with us for a while. So I did not get this video filmed this weekend. So it did not go up this morning, obviously, but that was our weekend. I'd love to know how your weekend went. Let's see, what should we do first? Let's get out the money. And we do have a lot of stuff we have to take care of in this video, but I'm gonna try to go quickly. We we're going to be stuffing my potato chip binder today and we have $300 as we normally do on Mondays. So let's get the money in the tray and then we'll go straight to the battle that we're doing with Lindsay. And the battle is called Rolling by Fives and it is from our sweet friend Kimmy over at Bayesian Girl Budgets on YouTube. And her Etsy shop is Kimmy's Budgets. That will be linked in the description box, as well as a link directly to the game that we're playing in case you want to catch up and do it with us. We just started it last week, so we haven't gotten very far into it. So we are doing roll by fives, and it comes with this beautiful die. die. So Lindsay and I are doing this, and last week I started it off, and I was using a little pouch for my son's work. It was my mistake. For some odd reason, I was thinking that it was like a chain and they had more restaurants. I didn't know that their location is the only location and it says a location on the little pouch. So I'm not gonna be using it because I don't want to disclose that information. So we are gonna be using this challenge because Kimmy made it into a an envelope as well. So I just punched it, she left it not punched. So it could, you guys could punch it. So when you buy it, you can punch it yourself for A5 or A6, which is so cool. So I punched it for A6 so I can put it right in our potato chip binder, which I'll do as soon as we're done. So anyway, we started last week. I noticed Lindsay didn't write the amount because we don't wanna, oh, that's not gonna cover it. We need black. She didn't write the amounts in. So I wanna take that amount out because we wanna be surprised. I told you in the last video, I think that I finally splurged and got a big box of Sharpies because my black ones do not work anymore and it was driving me crazy. So I got a big box because that was the cheapest way to go. And now they're nice and fine point and beautiful. So I'm going to just cover up that 15 and then I'm going to color in. I'm just doing it messy on purpose. I just want to cover up that brown. So... Another reason why I didn't film this video on Saturday is because I filmed Friday's video on Saturday. Matt edited it. I worked on Etsy orders and we just did all kinds of stuff. I did laundry and we, Matt helped me work on a new item. So I almost have three brand new items completely ready to launch. 
but I want to catch up on all my Etsy orders. I'm, I was down to 14 and I think I got two orders over the weekend. So I have 16 orders and I want to wait till those are done. So that way, when I put out these new items in my shop and I do put four to six weeks for processing, I don't want it to take that long. So anyway, here's what we're doing. This is, you're just supposed to roll and write the number in, but as, an, as like any other challenge, you can make it your own. So Lindsay and I decided for these three squares, we would just roll and whatever we get, we will stuff. And then for weeks four, five, six, and seven, we'll roll four times, write in the numbers, and then save the largest number. So I feel like I need to do this with my eyes closed so I'm not cheating or I'm not, I don't know, not that you can cheat. But anyway, so my eyes are closed and it sounds like it stopped. Okay, so I got a 20 for today. So I'm just gonna take a 20. And again, since we're not counting it, I'm just gonna put it in the back here. And now we'll be done with this challenge for today. So thanks to Kimmy for gifting this to me a long time ago. A lot of you have gifted me things and I love them. I just can only do so much at once on my channel. So a lot of times you'll see that maybe a year later I finally started, but <laughs> I do appreciate when you guys send me stuff. So we're done with that, and like I said, we'll stick it in this binder. I don't want to do it yet because you'll see why in a minute. So let me put this aside, and we're going to, let's go to save to give. You guys all know I love to give, and so we're doing this challenge from Whimsy Designs by LB, and I think it's so cute, and it's perfect for this month. So let's get out my dice tower. And to make it go a little faster, I grabbed six, six dice. So I'm going to put them all in at once so I don't have to roll as many times. I do not know who this save to give is going to go to. It's $189. It's either going to go to one or two people. But the reason, let me go ahead and roll this. The reason why... I don't want to say who it's going to. I have I have two ideas, but I don't want to say it because I feel like every month when I do, then the next week I find out someone who has an even more desperate, more urgent need. And so then I wished I hadn't announced it. So basically, I'm not going to probably decide until we're about finished. And that is why. So anyway, let's go ahead and mark up these numbers. So we got a one. Do we have any left? We have one left here. Okay. I got a different color marker so I don't have to keep track. And then three. I kind of want to do it in order. So here's the first three. And then we have five, five, five. So do we have three fives left? So I think we have exactly three fives left. I hope everyone had a great weekend. It got back to being cold here, and it was very cold this weekend, and I think it's in the 40s today and tomorrow, and then I think Matt told me it's back to being warm again, so I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind having some warm days here and there. Okay, so that, I believe, is all the numbers. So we have $15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25. So why don't we stop there for today? We just triple check or double check. So 15, 21, 22. Yes, we have 25. So let's stop there. 25 dollars. And we'll put that in our jar. That's right. This goes in our jar. And it says save to give on it. And then we'll be done with this for this week. So every Monday we put money in this challenge and it's one of my favorite things to do. So now we are going to do the penny challenge today. This is from Save with Sydney Bear. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I decided I'm not going to do this every single week because I have to have at least 33 cents and some weeks I don't have change, but really Matt is so busy right now. He does so much for our family for the kids, for our house, for everything. And I just want to make his editing as short as possible. So I decided that I I told you guys I was going to save change in this cute little jar. I have a thing. I love jars or I know this is just a glass, but um, it's, it's from the place where Lindsay and I stayed. So I leave it on my desk and it just reminds me of our, 
of her coming to visit and how much fun we had and it makes me smile. So I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I'm gonna wait till this gets filled to the top. It's not that big, but we're gonna wait till it gets filled to the top. And then when it's full or just about full, we'll I'll pull this out on a Monday and we'll stuff it all. However, today we have a little bit of a different situation. So I'm not gonna stuff this today, but I have to tell you guys what happened. So there's a restaurant locally that we frequent and I actually started taking Diego there. I'm trying to get Diego used to people and being at places. And so we did a trial and we sat outside and he, and there's a lot of people walking by right next to us with dogs. He did awesome. We just stayed forever. He did so great. Anyway, so we're friends with all the people that work there because, you know, we're there so much. So one of our favorite girls, Sarah, she had... Um, been saving up her change from tips for a really long time. And so she was like, I'm going to bring this to the bank because the, the cup that they keep their tips in are, was really full. So she said, I'm gonna have to go to the bank and they might make me roll it all. And I said, if you don't want the change, I said, I can give you cash right now for it. She's like, really? And I said, yeah. And I said, besides, I love sorting it and stuff. So anyway, while we're there, she brings me this big tray and we're like, Everyone at the table helping to sort it. And we just had a fun time. So then she also had two dollar coins, which one of my friends I was with wanted. So they, it, and they put two dollars, two one dollar bills in the jar. I was like, you don't have to pay for them. I don't care. You know, you can just keep them. But he insisted on putting two one dollar bills in here, which I took out. So this, when we counted up her change and there's like quarters and there's all the I just did pennies last, so they're on top. But anyway, when we finished counting, I counted this absolutely as slow as I could and in such an OCD fashion. And with those $2 coins, it came out to exactly $40, like to the penny. We couldn't believe it. It was the strangest thing. It was exactly $40. So I ended up Venmoing her and um, I took the two $1 bills out. So that means in this this is exactly $38. So I do want to stuff this today. So I'm going to do it with you guys as I normally do. I'm so happy I have a marker that's going to work. So let's, I'm going to bring you guys through this. So let's see, we're going to start here. Maybe I'll use my little, maybe I'll use this to point, but let's see if we can finish up this row. So three um, actually let's go down from, let's see. No, it's okay. We'll 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 count up. So 326. Okay, we can still go 314. Okay. So 314. That I'm going to put a dot on it. So I can fill in from 314 till where we left off here and that we went over by 41 cents so I'm gonna take 41 cents out of here so let's see can you guys yeah you guys can see so we have a tw here's a quarter 25 35 there's a nickel 40 and 41 so 38 41 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in because I want to see how much it fills my Cabbage Patch Kid jar because we just started we just started this. It's going to be really loud, so I might have Matt take the sound out. Okay, this is very, you guys should see how full this is. I don't know if you can tell, but basically it goes to about... Here. How, how do I show you this? It goes to about from all, the bottom all the way to the girl's foot. So it did fill it up a good bit since we had just started it. Anyway, I'm going to put that on the floor out of the way. And then I'll have Matt fast forward while I go ahead and fill in these circles. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're doing good. If I look at all the blank spaces, it's kind of daunting, but 
you guys, we're doing this. I'm going to finish this challenge someday. So that was a huge help. So anyway, we won't be pulling this out for probably a month maybe or however long it takes me to fill up that jar. But that's the scoop on that. So now we have some money we need to stuff. So let me grab the binder. Okay, so here is my potato chip binder that I love so much. And over the weekend, one of my sweet friends, her name is Valerie, she has a channel and a shop. She'll be linked in the description box. She is such a big supporter of mine and she is such a sweet friend. She put out this new challenge in her shop, you guys, and she gifted it to me. So she was going to mail it to me, but she ended up emailing it to me so I could print it because I wouldn't have gotten it by today's video and I want to start it today. So yes, she was so sweet and made this for me that I went ahead and added another envelope, even though I hadn't been planning to. We're gonna start this right now, and it is so cute. It is in her shop now, so you can do it too. It's a low income challenge, and she actually, let me show you, I ended up throwing it away, but there are two dashboard colors you can choose from. So you can use pink or yellow, and she also offers A6 dashboards and A5 dashboards. So I think that's awesome as well. So there are three challenges inside. And so we're gonna start them today. I think we're just gonna start the first one, but I'll just show you quickly. So I'm gonna put that aside because you guys know I don't like to feel claustrophobic. So there's save $18, 30 and 45. I We might come back to this if we have more money at the end, but I want, to start with this one because I can roll a nine-sided die. So anyway, we're gonna start with this one and I think it is so cute and I'm really excited about this. So I have my die already. So in order to have a nine-sided die, there's a zero on this one. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put this in the dice tower and we'll see what we get. And we got a five. So for, for today, we can just cross out the five and then I didn't have to do any guessing. I could just use my fun dice tower. So we'll start off this challenge with five and let me bring this back over here. So we'll just put that in the front and I'm so excited about this one. And I hope that you guys do it with me because it's so, so stinking cute. Okay. So the next one, I forget who it's from. Let me check. This was also gifted to me when I bought a savings challenge. And I thought this was so sweet. It's from Rainbow Budgets. That's right. So we're doing the front of it right now. So this is one where we're scratching. So I'll put the dice tower out of the way and get my scratcher. And let's go purple because you all know I love purple. And that is $17. This is save 100 so we're going to add 17 today, 10, 15, 16, and 17. Today, I'm not going to count the money in these challenges to save a little bit of time for Matt editing because since my video is late, I want him to edit it and I want to get it up tonight as soon as we can. So anyway, we'll put 17 in there. And then this one, you guys, I'm just realizing how many gifts I get. You guys are absolutely amazing. This was made specifically for me from, oh my goodness, it's Oh Mama Budgets and her name is Chris. And I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. She is friends with Savannah over at Sav Saves and she asked Savannah what my favorite, um, what's one of my favorite things? And Savannah said, oh, definitely chips. So she made me a chip challenge and we are using a 12 sided die. I do have the dice to the side in the order that we need them. So we're ready to go. So we only have one, we're gonna finish this right now, but this is laminated so I can reuse it and do it again at a later time. So we got an 11, so let's add $11. And like I said, I'm not gonna count these, we'll count them next week, but I'm gonna put in $11 and grab a paper clip. Oh, we are gonna count it because we finished it. Oh, that's right, okay. Forgot about that detail. So, this challenge saved us 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 70, $7. So I'm going to write that up here 
There's a spot for it. It says total. I love that she made a spot for it. 77. So thank you so much, Chris. I'm definitely going to do this one again. I love it. And it saved us an extra $77 that I hadn't been planning on. So thank you. <coughs> okay. So actually, now that we don't have any more, actually, let me just double check. Do we have two in any of these envelopes? Let's see. Do we have two in this one? I think we do because this was a three pack. Maybe it's still in with this. Let's check. I just want to have everyone in a separate envelope if we can. I think it might be in here. Let's see. Yes. So let's take that one out. Let's do that. Let's take that one out and we'll put it. We will put it in here in its place. So we'll start that next week. And now we're moving on to Weekly Budgets Co. And I think this is another one we're finishing. Yes, we are. Okay, so this is a 20-sided die. So let's grab that one. And we got a 15. So I'm going to check off that we rolled the D20. And we're going to add $15. So a 10 and a 5. I just started getting some Christmas presents in the mail for people. And I'm curious, have you guys, how are you doing on your Christmas shopping? Have you started? Um, I bought a few things for my daughter because I just, I try to be very, very thoughtful about gifts. I don't buy any gifts just cause I only buy a gift if I know they're going to absolutely love it. So I'm excited about the gifts that came in the mail for her. They're just some few little things, but they'll mean a lot to her. So we saved 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, $132. $132. Just going to write that down here. So that turned out to be a good amount. And now we're done with this challenge as well. So I'll paper clip this. And now we'll have some more to add to this Friday's video. This Friday will be... Okay, do I have any more that where there are two in one? I don't think so. If we do, I can put this back in, but let's take this out for now. And so yes, Friday will be counting all the challenges we finished in the month. And we'll also be unstuffing my, my Life of a Pig book, the Georgette Pig book, because we finished that in the last video. And we'll be, what else? Um, Lindsay's loads of savings will be unstuffing that. So we're, we're going to have a decent amount to add to my goals. So I'm excited about that. So cats versus chips. This is from Tobin Budgets. And here is my scratcher. So each cat is five and each bag of chips is 10 because <laughs> chips are worth 10 to me because I love chips so much more than, than cats. So sorry, Lisa. Okay, so we owe five for that cat. Let me move the money so it doesn't get all messy. All right, so I'm gonna actually scratch it down here closer to where the edge of my table is. Okay, so we owe five for that cat and then let's go right here. Ooh, chips, okay. So that's 10, so we're up to 15. Let's do one more. Okay, this is a cat, so that's five. So we're gonna add $20 to this challenge today. And we're gonna go ahead and put this away. If you are not a lover of cats, please tell me in the comments. I can't be the only one who does not love cats. Okay, so that's gonna go back in here and we'll move right along. This next one is from a shop called Grounded Budgets. We are rolling the 12 sided dice, die, whatever. And let's see, we have to reuse this. This one right here, I'm going to color it in with this brown today. So let's see how many we're going to do. Okay, that was a six. So let's go again. So I'll just dot that one. Actually, let's just dot two of them because I'm going to, so I don't forget. And I'm going to roll one more time. And that's an eight. Wait a second. What, what was the first thing I rolled? Oh, you guys. Was it, a, did I say a six? Oh, no. Okay, I think it was a six. So six plus eight is 14. Oh, my goodness. 
So I'm going to put one back and take 15. If I'm wrong, when I edit with Matt, I will make it right. So don't worry about leaving it in the comments. If I got it wrong, I'll take care of it. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, I wanted to make change. We can at least put these two fives back and take a 10. And then we can put two tens back and take a 20, just so I have some smaller bills. Okay. So I hope I didn't mess that up, but like I said, I can fix it when Matt's editing. So let me go ahead and color these two in and then I will be right back. Okay, you can barely tell it has that darker spot I dotted it with, but it can be an age spot, just like my stupid huge age spot. That's what I call it anyway, on my hand. So, all right, so we have two colored in and looks like we might finish that next time. And I added the money that I thought was the correct amount, but again, when Matt edits, I'll pay attention and he will too. And we'll see if I mess that one up. Okay, so moving on, our next one is from Cookies and Cash, I believe. Yes, Cookies and Cash. They're no longer on Etsy, I believe. I think this is the shop that's no longer on Etsy, which I put in the description box. But for this one, basically what we do, we do the same thing every week and we color in all of these. So these icons are $2 each. So we have two, four, six, eight and 10. And yes, one of my markers just fell right off my desk. So we take $10 we owe, and then we add a multiplier to it to save more money. We are using the four-sided die. I can't even pick it up. So let's see what we get with this one. And that one, we got a four. There's a four all the way around the top. So 10 times four is $40. I'm kind of sad we're putting that much in one challenge, but that's okay. It'll be a good amount when it's done. So we're done for this week. And then we're gonna move on to Bobby's challenge. I just got an order in the mail from Life with Bobby and I am obsessed with her shop. So we're gonna go ahead and we do need to roll for this one. I think I can keep the binder out this time. So let me, let's write with this so I don't have to worry about remembering Oh no, hang on one sec. Let me find the marker I dropped. Of course, the one marker I wanna use is the one that dropped. I don't think I've used this one for the numbers. So then I don't have to keep track. We can count them at the end. So, and I'll use the really skinny side. So we need a 12 sided and an eight sided. So here's the 12 and then the eight sided is right here. Yes, okay, so let me put both of these in. So on the 12-sided, we got two. So the two would go right here and the triangle pointing up. And then we got a seven in the eight-sided. Isn't that funny how that worked out? Um, and we got a seven in that. I think that's hilarious. Okay, let's do one more for each. Why not? Okay, on the eight-sided, we got a seven again. And on the 12-sided, we got a 10. Okay, oops. All my, all the covers are coming off. So let's go ahead and add this up. So seven and seven is 14, plus two is 16, plus 10 is 26. So we owe $26. So there's 25 and one for 26. So we're not counting this. It's gonna be a good amount when we're done, but I do wanna grab some of these $1 bills. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's cool. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Let's do that and take out 20, 30, 40. And now I don't have to worry about the change for the rest of the video. All right, that's messy, but I'm gonna leave it. The next one is one of our potato chip challenges. It's one out of the three packs. Oops. Let's go ahead and look at this one. Okay, so for this challenge, I think I did this at the end last time to see how much 
money I had. I don't know. Anyway, let's do a nine in here. Let's just do the largest number left, which is a nine. So I'm going to put back one and take a 10. And then we're going to go to our big one. So that's our last challenge is this huge one we've been doing. And it looks like we're going to finish it next week. Oh, that's awesome. So we have a 60 and a 70. Ouch. All right. Let's see how much money we have left. I'm not sure which one we're going to do. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's just go with that. Yeah, let's do the 60 and then we'll finish it next week with a 70. So I can't believe we're going to finish this. This is going to be an amazing amount. So I'm so excited about that. I am going to put it in order so it'll be easier to count next week. Oh, we don't have any ones, so we can just put that at the bottom. And we have 500 in the bank already for this challenge because we don't like to keep a lot of money in these envelopes at home in the, the wall safe. Okay, so we have done every challenge in here, you guys. That is amazing. And we finished two challenges today. So we'll get to count those. Oh, if we had finished that, if we had finished this larger one today, if we had 70 more dollars and we finished this one, we could add this to Friday's video, but we definitely don't have 70 more. Oh, well. Okay, so with the money we have left, I had started some savings challenge binders and I want to, you guys know, I love to do them. So I'm going to go ahead and this didn't come with, elastics but I put some lavender ones there to match here I thought they were really pretty and let's see so we're gonna do this next scratch right here we're just gonna go slowly but I love vellum so much and to have a design on the vellum I think is just gorgeous so this is from Taylor at a little of it all budget or a little of it all budgets She'll be linked in the description box. She's the one that had that composition book that I did at the end of my videos for a while. I forgot that I had said I was going to do some some little books from people that I hadn't supported yet. I forgot I had I had supported her in it, but that's okay. I love this so much. So let's do one, two, three, four, and five. And we're just going to do one scratch because... There's a couple more books I want to do. So, and I don't want this to end quickly by any means. I don't know how much it saves. I like the fact that it's a surprise. It probably said it in the listing, but the listing's gone because it's not available anymore. So I couldn't even, even though I tried to check, I couldn't. But okay, so this one did, did not come with an elastic, but I love color, you guys. And I just put that on there to make it, to keep it closed and to make it uh, more, more exciting for me to look at. Anyway. This saves $540 and it is from, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. It's Oma, Oma Crafts and Budgets. I just forget, is it Oma's Crafts and Budgets or Oma? So that's why I like to look. I definitely know who this is from. I just don't want to mispronounce the name. So let's go ahead and we're going to scratch this one down here and it's a four. And again, I'm not in any rush to finish these books, but I have a little obsession with the little books. So $4 we're adding. So one, two, three, and four. And I will tell you guys, here's a little secret. At night when I'm finally done working, so for instance, Saturday night, I worked until nine o'clock, 9.30. And the very first thing I do to just kind of like decompress and to chill out is I go on Etsy and I search for mini savings challenge books. So that's just what I do. And every once in a great while, I'll find a brand new one that I haven't seen before that I really like and I'll buy it, which is what happened with this. I got so excited when I found it. Okay, so we'll put that aside. We are going to, we're actually going to start another one because I just, I love my people and I love their stuff and I really just love these books. So this is from Save with Sid Sydney Bear. And I am going to actually switch out the elastic because I think the pink will look so pretty with the, um, the bird's belly. And I just think this is so cute. So coffee needed savings challenge, $300. I have no idea how much these numbers are. So that's why I didn't scratch much on those other two because I had no idea. So, all right. So it's a 15. 
And it's funny, as much as I like to know what's going on and to know stuff, I also do like for these savings challenge binders to kind of be surprised too. So I'm kind of learning to, I'm kind of trying to learn to live life on the edge a little bit, if you can call it that. Okay, so for this one, it's a 15 and these are double-sided as well. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 dollars. So we'll start that one off. I am not going to do the back right now because I don't know if I'll have enough money. And I really don't want an IOU on one of these books. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have $14 left. Let's go back to this one because there are lots of rooms to, room for the money because they're they, what's the word? You don't have to fold the bills. So let's, okay, I already forgot how much I counted, of course, but that's all right. It's funny, when you're talking in the camera, it's so easy to forget things or to not be able to remember things you're trying to remember to say. Okay, so we're going to add another six to this. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll stick that in the back and then let's go ahead and let's, we'll go ahead and scratch one more on this and then we will be done. So I hope Taylor makes more books like this because I love it. And so, you know what? We don't have to go in order. We'll just do this one right here. And that's a seven. I don't even know if I have seven and I don't have any money in my wallet. So we might get an IOU. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go ahead and take this ebook because that's a letter book I'm saving. And I'm going to put that with my letter book savings. And so now we have seven. And now we've spent every dollar. We've hit all of our, we, we got a lot done in this video, you guys. We, we did so many different things. And I'm so grateful that I had that money to save. And I won't always have that this much to save in every video. Things are going to change. But anyway, for now, we are finished. I thank you all so, so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you soon. Bye.